As we have heard and as we know, George Bush was a charter member of the greatest generation. As we gather here to salute him, his incredible service to our nation and the world are already etched in the marble of time. After becoming the youngest naval aviator, he served in increasingly responsible positions on behalf of his country. Congressman, ambassador to China and to the United Nations, director of the CIA and vice president. Then, as history will faithfully record, he became one of our nation's finest presidents and beyond any doubt, our nation's very best one-term president. For millions and millions across the globe, the world became a better place because George Bush occupied the White House for four years. He was not considered a skilled speaker, but his deeds were quite eloquent. And he demonstrated their eloquence by carving them into the hard granite of history. They expressed his moral character, and they reflected his decency, his boundless kindness and consideration of others, his determination always to do the right thing and always to do that to the very best of his ability. They testify to a life nobly lived. He possessed the classic virtues of our civilization and of his faith, the same virtues that express what is really best about this country. These same ideals were known to and they were shared by our founding fathers.